G'day team, what's up? I'll probably take this off. There you go. Nice and uh, nice and warm. Well, it's cool enough outside, I feel like, doing this. So, um, yeah, welcome to the Sunday session. Adjust the camera. A little bit less in the background, a bit more chewy. So, good on Muzz for last week doing the Sunday se session on his own. I was at footy with the young fella. It's great to be part of team sports, and that was a carnival day where all the kids had multiple mini games and got to play lots of footy and there was lots of tired kids. <laughs> Not my young fella. He's got an untapped amount of energy, so good on him. And, you know, yesterday was football for us here, so we're still uh, just... Uh, no, second. That was the second last round. Getting good momentum in the club, keep that winning into in the finals run because we're keen on winning a, the big one. So we're setting ourselves up, we're training properly, stuff like that. And uh, one of the questions asked in the footy rooms what, by the coach and then reiterated by the captain, so it's good that the dynamics on the same page, is uh, who do you want to be on that day? You know, how, how are you going to act? How are you going to train? Stuff like that. And it's a very valid point about the identity that one person wants to um, inhabit. Yeah. So in, in essence, for most of the footy club, my nickname is The Dominator, or most people just call me Dom, which is fine. And some people don't understand the context behind that because they didn't see that version of, you know, best part of 20 years ago. And it's actually been, doing the calculation, it's been 18 years since I've played in a grand final. So one, I'm getting old, but two, I need to lift my game to, to the highest standard I can bring it because on that day, you have to play your absolute best and only the best team will win. So I am determined to be part of that team that is the best. But like the captain, the coach said, who do you want to be? So you've got to inhabit this identity to um, become someone, you know? What does a grand final winner look like? You know, how do they act? You can't just waltz up and just go win one. There's an effort. There's a process. There's training. There's extra training. There's the little things like, you know, is me doing the extra push-ups in the morning helping? Is me doing some pull-ups, some sit-ups, all those little things in my fitness that I've been doing for the year, is that helping for me to be the best version of myself for that role in the footy club? You know, because I'm being the best version of myself for the farm. So the, depending on the, the hat or the metaphorical hat that we wear. So parents are on a holiday. I've got the, the whole ship to myself and we're floating along just nicely at the moment, progressing. But that in it, ha, it has its challenges, right? So you know, there's only so much one person can do. But you've got to put the big boy hat on, doing the book work, dealing with the tax stuff. Oh full belly, um, all that sort of fun stuff. So it's, there's an attitude that you have to have when you're doing your book work, paying your bills, um, you know, creating, creating the other income to you know, sell this truck, that truck, an old bin or something. Keeps cash flow moving in a direction before the crops come in. You know, there's all these little things that we do to keep the business rolling. And we're back. All right, make sure the, make sure the sheep are shorn. And the wool sold, you're constantly doing something, right? So that's not a problem. And it's a bit the same in the online business. I've got my schedule where I, I do my best to post in these times. Sometimes I get a bit busy and I get a bit distracted, but I'm still here for you guys. As well as on my other page and the Instagram and all that sort of stuff, chucking this stuff on, on YouTube. So if you're catching this on YouTube, don't forget to do the like and subscribe and all that YouTube-y stuff that people do. So there you go, in the middle of the video, this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's all part of the online identity. You know, does does the online identity... I, I just happen to be wearing these clothes today. I would prefer to present myself in a different light online as more of a business person. But what does your business look like? You know, you are your business to a degree until you get... To a point where you can become a CEO. So what does the CEO look like? You know, the car that he drives, the suit that he wears, things like that. So that's all part of the identity. And what's the process to becoming a CEO? 
CEO of a big business, you have to have a small business and build it up to become a big business. So there's some work in there, like footy training, you know, like footy club to win a grand final, to be on those big stages, you've got to put in the effort, you've got to have trained, you've got to have won those games throughout the year. You've got to be in the right mindset. You've got to look after yourself so that you're physically able to do the things that you need to do. Right. So there's just processes of, of those changing identities. And, and that can be viewed, those two conversations are quite simplistic in their term. But when you actually get into the doing of the doing, how many people in your, in your life, in your day, do you come across that are actually doing things to really level this shit up, right? Who's really taking it to the next level? You know, who's, you probably know heaps of people that are going through the motions. Go do the job, do the work, come home, possibly have a beer, rinse, repeat, done again, play a bit of sport on the weekend, great time, cruising through life, great. So where are they gonna be in five years time? If they're happy, cruise along, they're gonna be in the same spot, cruise along. Go to work, knock off, have a few beers, go to sports, cruise along. Life will be cruising along. But what they won't have, or what they don't, what they haven't done is the work to go get a Bugatti, Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg make a great car. Iron off one of those things. So to for the for the guys that have the dreams to go do something bigger. Yeah. And we're back again. Have the faster car. You know, to to have a different persona, changing the closet. There's things that, you know, you've got to have the extra money to change the closet. How are you get extra money? You have to work harder, right? Part of the identity. Uh, you know, <coughs> suits fit a certain body style, right? Blokes, blokes look good in suits when you have a certain body style. So, so then you have to do the fitness to look good in that suit as part of that identity, right? So, you know, we're talking about effort and stuff. But if you're just going through the motions, doing same old, same old, cruising through life, you are not going to get that fast car in that suit because you haven't put in the effort. So what is the extra effort that people you know are doing to level their shit up? Well, basically, that's the, that's the crux of today's changing, changing your identity and stuff. So part of what I'm doing, and Muzz and I have discussed it, plenty of times in this group is apart from starting an online business and drinking the water we drink as part of our healthy change, I've leveled up my shit between bought some new gear to uh, present myself on the farm uh, most of the days of the week in a different viewpoint, but I'm doing my fitness every morning so I can be fitter and stronger and I like the way I look in the mirror, right? So that is that, that viewpoint. So that identity that I'm creating of the, the version of myself to go, you know, I'm that strong businessman and I'm not gonna take any shit, right? I've got a direction and that's where I'm going. So, you know, the, the looking after myself, the getting enough sleep, the drinking enough water, the doing enough push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, got the weights in the hallway. Yeah, do, do enough to level my shit up because that is what I'm doing this year. A lot of the inspiration for this leveling my shit up comes from this online business that I work with these guys and we talk in a men's group on Tuesday. And I put a post up during this week that I just happened to be privileged enough to star in a podcast with Clint X Morgan this week. So if you guys aren't subscribing to that guy, I can drop a link in the comments if, if you blokes wanna to listen to that. And that's, a great viewpoint of what the inner workings of some of the businesses and we we talked on that call about changing the identity and how I want to present this opportunity to you guys so rather we know about the water and, and I drink the water and Muzz drinks the water and Scotty drinks the water and there's thousands of us around Australia that drink the water but what we don't always express enough and what I haven't probably done correctly for the last three years is talking enough about business so it's about the dollars and cents and I've got Look, there's a pie chart here. There's points thing here. We've got commission points here. So I'm talk numbers to you all day, right? 
and maybe that's a greater part of the conversation between if you are just going through those motions and you're happy living life the way it is, go to the job, knock off, beers, sports, great life, good on you, be happy. Nothing against being happy. But don't expect things to change if you're not going to change. So I've started changing and I'm leveling my shit up, right? Alpha fucking scenario. Sorry about the swear words, but that's how it is. I'm not taking shit and I'm not trying to take over the world or do anything fantastic. I just want to make that extra money with a business that feels good. Go to sleep at night over it, right? Every, all that good stuff. That heart-centered business that it's like growing a crop it's dictated to by the elements and, and lots of other things. It's a, it's a weird business to have. And you attach a certain emotion to it or you don't, right? And I've let that go. There's things I can and can't control, so I'll let that go. But so there's other business that I have on the other hand is a heart-centered business. It feels good every day. I know when I fill up that water bottle that I'm going to drink that water. And and not only that is that good for me, it's the good influence on my son and and all you guys that get to hear about it and all you guys at footy train and get to see me drink it, right? you got no idea the advantage I've got. We can talk science about it if you really want to know, but you guys don't know what you're missing out on. Really fucking simple. I didn't, I didn't know until I did it, right? Anyway, so, but then what you don't see is, you see that's a great two litre water bottle that I'm drinking this cool water out of. Right, that's my water bottle. And I drink, you guys drink your tap water. And I drink this voodoo water. And I'm still running around. I'm twice the age of half you blokes. So just remember that. I'm still pushing at the front sometimes. That's how it is. But then there's the mindset in that. Because I'm the person I've become because of the mindset that I created around a persona, a label that I got in my 20s, right? So that created an identity that I wanted to have because I didn't really have a certain identity through high school. It wasn't, wasn't an identity I wanted to keep, the one that I did have. So I was happy to let move on and let that go. So when I got the nickname, The Dominator, and then inhabiting that identity becomes a certain, you have to do certain things, right? There's the training that you do have to put up a performance. You do have to put in the arts, right? So, and I, I earned some stripes back then. You don't get captain of any side without some effort, right? So I take great pride that I was co-captain for 2005 through effort, right? You got to show up, you got to put up, you got to perform. And that and that's the, the thing. But there was work in the background. And now for this identity that I'm creating, uh, this version of myself, I'm still showing up on the footy field with my advantages. But then there's this whole business structure behind it. Not just the, not just the dollars and cents of the farm business and the online business and stuff like that. There's a full structure, a daily structure that I run, right? So I think that's enough ranting for the Sunday session. And that's that's the bit of insight. And we're back again. Must have too many doors shut and whatever's going on with the, the thing. But that's enough for today about me ranting about changing identities and online businesses. If you want to hear the podcast, send send us a message or drop a message comment in the video. And I will then uh, drop the link to, the, to that particular podcast where you get to hear my sultry tones a bit more and talking with some of the leaders in the industry and, and how we work in the background because it's that stuff in the background that not many people see and that maybe that might inspire you to go, hey, there's that, if there's, the work can be that easy, it can be hard and can be easy. It's easy as you make it. Yeah, but the, the biggest lie you might ever be told in your life is... It's not that easy, because it actually is that easy. <laughs> you know, it is just that easy to do a couple of extra push-ups. It is just that easy to do something to change your life. So it is just that easy. I'll sign off with uh, the normal sign-off. Thanks to the farmers growing all the food, 
You people are absolute legends. Thanks to the truckies that transport all our goods around Australia and other countries around the world. Good on yous and thanks to all the armed service people that have protected our way of life and continue to do so. You guys are absolute legends. So I'll sign off there. Peace out. Have a good one. And have a think about those sorts of people. Have a great day.